Hi, and thanks for choosing Pebblehost. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up and use light bands. But first of all, light bands is a premium plugin. This does mean that you will have to pay to be able to use it. This can be bought from the official Spigot page for $8.50. Also, do note that this guide will not be showing the web interface. Instead, it will just be showing the config and the commands. So let's get right into it. So once you have bought and downloaded the light bands jar file, we then want to go to our server files. So we'll go to the file manager, then into the plugins folder. Then you want to click upload, file, and then we can find our light bands jar file and simply upload it. Once it has uploaded, we're then gonna restart our server. Once it has restarted, the config files have now generated. But before we go into editing them, we're gonna actually set up a MySQL database. In order to do this, we're gonna go to the left to MySQL database, and we're then gonna click light bands. It will then check your server for the jar file, and then there we go. We'll now click configure, and now our MySQL database has been set up. Next, I'm gonna show you how you can edit the config files. So once again, we're gonna go back to the file manager, then into the plugins folder, and then into the light bands folder, where we can then find config.yml. And in here, there is a ton of different options that you can change. So I definitely recommend taking a look through these. A few you probably wanna take a look at are these. Here we have the warnings, and as you can see, it's currently set by default to expire after seven days. Now you can simply just change this to whatever you want, and as it says here, if you want to make it permanent, you can also just change this to permanent. And there's also actions down here. So by default, when you get your third warning, you'll be kicked from the server for this reason. And once you get your fourth warning, you'll be temp banned for one day, and also for this reason. We also have another thing here, which is silent equals false. Now what this means is that by default, if you do, for example, a ban command, it will currently be broadcasted around the whole server. However, if you say it true, it will mean by default, the punishment is actually silent, meaning that everyone won't be able to see it in the chat. Another one you also probably want to have a look at is the mute, but more specifically, the command blacklist. So if a player is muted, by default, they can't really do anything. What you can simply do is just remove the commands that you want them to be able to use. So let's say that I wanted them to be able to do the command slash say while muted. I could simply just remove it and then save the config. You also might want to take a look at the MySQL config and this will show you everything you need in order to set up your MySQL database if for example you aren't using our automatically configed one. We also have durations here which gives limits on what people can do. So obviously if you do have a plugin like LuckPerms then if you give someone this moderator permission right here, you can then change how long they can temp ban and how long they can temp mute. So let's get right into the commands. So first of all, we're going to start off with the simple ones, which is banning. So we can do slash ban. And as you can see, we already have a few options here. We can continue with slash ban or we can do slash ban IP or even ban list. But if we continue with ban, we can then put a username. And then instead of putting a reason, we can actually put a time scale. And this will actually be a temporary ban. If you don't decide to put a timescale, it will be a permanent ban. So if we, for example, put 7D, that would then be seven days. If you want hours, it would be an H. Years, it would be a Y, and so on. So if we were to put 7D, and then a reason, so if we said he was X-raying, then as you can see, Strange Stan temp ban Neo 6 for seven days for X-ray. And on that auto count, this is the message that we got. You are banned from the server, banned on, and then the date, banned by, and then my name, the reason, and then how long it will take to expire. Next, I'm gonna show you unban. This one is pretty self-explanatory, which is just slash unban, and then the username. And then you can also actually put a reason for this. So let's say your server had an appeal system, you could unban them for the reason appealed. And then you would know exactly why they got unbanned. So if we have to do that, as you can see, strange stan unban Neo 6 for appealed. So now if we do slash ban IP, if we were to do this on Neo 6, it would ban any player that is currently on the same IP. So since I'm running both of these on the same computer, it would ban me as well. So if I was to do this to Neo 6, as you can see, it's actually banned me as well. And if you do accidentally do this to yourself, you can do unban IP and then your name in the console. And since I did un IP ban me, it also un IP bans anyone on the same IP as well. We can also do slash ban list, and this will show anyone that has been or currently is banned. So as you can see, five minutes ago, Neo6 was banned for X-Ray, and then they were unbanned for the reason appealed. And then one minute ago, they were banned, and this was when I IP banned. You can also see other accounts that are on the CMIP if you do slash check and then all. 
bots. Then if you put a username, it will search for other players on the same IP. So as you can see, we are both on the same IP here, and these colors indicate whether they're online, offline, banned, or even IP banned. Another one you can do is slash check ban, and you can actually check this for any player, whether they've joined the server or not. So if I check the ban for Neo6, target is not banned. And then if I do ban Neo6, for let's say no knockback, as you see they've been banned, and then if we were to do the same command again, check ban, as you can see, target Neo6 is banned. Banned by me, reason, when it was, banned until because I didn't put a time limit. You can also see it wasn't an IP ban, it wasn't silent, and it was permanent. And that is actually an important thing here. Now, silent commands are actually quite a big bit of this plugin. So, in order to do them, you'd want to do first of all your command, so slash ban, and then a dash, and then an S. And then you can pick the name, and then a reason. Let's just put X-ray once again. And as you can see, it has been silent. Silent, strange stand, ban Neo6 for X-ray. So this means that it wouldn't be broadcasted to everyone in the server. Only server operators would actually be able to see it. And this would also show in the console. Next, I'm going to show you how you can mute people. So simply, if I am to do slash mute, and then Neo6, we can then choose a time. So let's say we just mute them for 20 seconds. If you want, you can then put a reason, but by default, the reason will be spamming. This can also be changed in the config. The strange sound attempt muted Neo6 for 20 seconds for spamming. And as you can see on alt account, we have been muted. If we try saying something, as you can see, you are muted 11 seconds remaining. And we'll try again. And as you can see, the time is now up. You may have noticed that that did actually get broadcasted in chat as well, and pretty much all commands you will do are by default broadcasted in chat. But as I said, that can be changed in config, or you can do a dash and then an S after the start of the command. Similar to ban IP, we can also do slash mute IP. And what this will do, will simply just mute anyone on the same IP. You can also do slash mute chat, and this will basically disable the chat on the server, and only people with operator will actually be able to speak. So if we do slash mute chat, as you see, server chat has been disabled and since i'm an op i will be able to say stuff as you see i said hello and then on my alt if we try it now as you can see server chat is currently disabled you can also of course unmute so if you muted someone permanently you can also do slash unmute as well as also being able to do slash unmute ip and this would un ip mute them similar to earlier we can also do slash check mute if we do neo6 target is not muted and now i've muted neo6 if we do the same command, as you can see, Neo6 is muted. And then, of course, you can see everything else as well. The next command is slash history. And then if you put the username like Neo6, and you can pretty much see every single thing that has happened to them, from mutes to bans. And if we were to also kick them, it would show that as well. The last thing I'm going to show you is how to clear the chat. So, for example, someone is spamming and just filling the chat with random messages, you can do slash clear chat. And what we'll then do is add basically a ton of messages so that the chat is cleared. So now we just have a big blank box. But anyway, hopefully this video has been helpful. If it has, definitely leave a like and subscribe. And hopefully, I'll see you next time.